What's going on guys, Mac Gaming here, and today I'm gonna go be doing a little live com up in here. Uh we're playing Black Ops good. 3. I know this is my No, this is my first video on Black Ops 3. I was gonna post one today, but didn't have enough time. Alright, so today is gonna be going up. Actually when you guys are watching this, I'm gonna be at a camp. I'm gonna be on the Ropes course, yeah, I'm gonna be on the ropes course when you guys are just sitting inside watching your darn iPad, the, the iPad or iPhone or computer. But that's that's the great thing about going to school early. You get to do everything before anybody else. That's that's the best part. But today, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about this Black Ops 3. Um, I think my paint job's not. That's one thing I've noticed. Paint jobs are really glitchy in this game. I wanted to show you my paint job, but it's just really glitchy. Favorite, I'm just going to say my favorite gun first. Favorite gun, definitely the Razor, um, the Razorback. Yeah, the Razorback. Uh, I like Quick Draw, Reflex, and Foregrip. That's what I'm using right now. I think I'm going to switch to Long Barrel instead of um, either the Reflex Sight or Foregrip and just pick the freaking Spawn Trap. Yeah, it's like, it's been like a couple weeks and people have already found the freaking spawn trap in this game. And don't judge me on that nade throw. Let me see if I can get it. He... There we go. Got a hit knife, whatever it's called. Alright. Alright. So, this game, I, it's, for me, it's a mixture of Black Ops 1. The, fe the guns feel like Black Ops 1 guns. Um, the movement feels a lot like uh, Titanfall, but everything else feels like Black Ops 2. That's my opinion on it. Uh, tell me what you guys think it feels like. I don't think it feels like Advanced Warfare at all, which I'm really happy about. Um, the aim, the aim in time when you have Quick Draw kind of reminds me of Advanced Warfare and some of the Iron Sights do, but like the Razorback Iron Sights remind me of the HBRA3. Ones, but that's about like the only advanced warfare. Hostile UAV um, like, I'm I'm so terrible at live comms. You guys know me. I'm just gonna stop what I was saying because you guys probably already know what I'm gonna say. But yeah, all right. So we're just gonna finish this first half off here strong. I've gotten this gun once. I got one kill with it. All right, there's another kill with it. it it's pretty overpowered. And then. I started using my razor back again. Alright, I hit him twice. I thought this was a two hit kill, but maybe that's a different gun. Damn. Yeah, I think that's it. I think that's the semi auto one. Everybody that I've talked to so far says that use the Tempest. Like half the people that I know use the Tempest hat. Well, not well. A third of the people use the Tempest, third of the people use Sparrow, I use Sparrow. And then a third of the people use Glitch. I think Sparrow's the best. Well, I like Sparrow just because I want to like do just. Friendly UAV. I don't. I think I keep thinking I'm gonna cut this, but I like the Sparrow just because I like the idea of a bow in Call of Duty because it's never really been there besides the crossbows, and I'm actually gonna snipe now. There we go. Nice little quick scope right there. Friendly UAV inbound. Alright, so yeah, sniping is also really hard. He had a shotgun. I've used a shotgun once before and I got a double kill. That was pretty good. Be advised. Hostile UAV incoming. Securing A. Alright. Maybe I should change my mindset. I haven't I haven't tried to snipe at all in this game yet. Totally forgot about trying to snipe in this game. So we're gonna go do this full speed. Losing C. Has C. So back to what I was saying. Alright, let's do this. Alright. This is kind of messed up. I'm going to try Sparrow with this. Jeez. I, I hate it when I accidentally hit Y because then it just deletes the whole freaking Sparrow. Alright, yeah, we're done with that. We are done with that. Maybe if I try this. I haven't tried this yet. Oh, alright, that's the end of the round. I guess we'll go. I kind of left you guys off on a note there, so I'm just gonna do a little bit of the next round. 
We're gonna try this razor back. Did you pick up my gun? Pretty sure that's my gun. Oh no, that one has suppressor on it, doesn't it? Oh no, it doesn't. Maybe that's my gun. It has all the attachments. Half time. Hmm. Alright. So it has been really glitchy on the Xbox One so far. Um, it's been freezing a lot and paint jobs, as I said, don't um don't work. Connection really sucks also, but that's just that's just things that they need to fix just because it's a beta. Um, I'm gonna grind this game until I get the M8 that I'm probably gonna like, stop playing it. But let's just come over here. Down. Uh, so I'm gonna miss the, the whole beta. I'm gonna miss the beta for about two days. Just because I'm not gonna be here. I gotta go to that camp. For school. Oh, I almost got the wall run, but he had a freaking... Oh, oh no, he had the... Oh, no, yeah, he had a shotgun. That's what I thought. If he didn't have that shotgun, I would've gotten that. That would've been awesome. That would've been awesome, but... Get this grenade throw. That was terrible accuracy. Oh, yep, they're coming from the right. Should've known. Alright. So this is, oh yeah, Combine. Favorite map. 100% favorite map. Then the one with the water is my second favorite. Then the other one is my least favorite. Don't like that one at all. All right. Yeah, this is one. This is actually a really great map. Yeah, definitely my favorite map, just because I don't know why. It just—it's such a small map. It feels a lot like. It feels a lot like Nuketown, to be honest. One house here, one house there. Big middle. Damn. Be advised, hostile hellstorm inbound. It's definitely not as good as Nuketown, but. Is that feeling? Is that nuke town feeling? Just these bags are like really big. All right, we're gonna go change our sensitivity back to what it usually is. All right, so somebody's behind me. I have six cents, so I know that. Oh, I almost turned on that kid too. Freaking shotgun kid! Oh my gosh, that would have been awesome. 10 and 18, not bad because you guys know when I get the when I get a game for the first time, the first week I'm so freaking bad at the game, and that's what brings my KD down for like the rest of my life. Like I go 0 and 18 like every single game, so my KD is like a 0.01, and then I start getting better and I get it up to like a 0.06, and I can't change it because I've gotten so many deaths. That's what I hate about it. Like, I'm not good at good games, uh, or new games at all. Except Advanced Warfare, I was really good at Advanced Warfare at the beginning, but then I just started getting suckier as time went down. Advanced Warfare was weird for me. There's that Sparrow kill for you guys. Okay, we got him, I was gonna say. Alright, there we go. Three kills. Oh, four? Oh, no. Dang it. I hit one. I knew I hit. No, 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 no. Time ran out. Time ran out. I was gonna say, I don't remember hitting Y, but I must have. But I'm like, oh, I forgot. Time can run out. That's another special ability what that guy just did. That's good for clearing out flags. I'm pretty sure the pro players will use that again. That and glitch. Losing Alpha. Bravo. Profit Charlie. Alright, mates. Yeah, we're gonna do a whole two halves of this. Charlie secure. UAV inbound. Alright, cut comms, normal cut comms will start on this game. Right after today's video and tomorrow's video. Tomorrow's video is actually going to be my first game on this. Oh, double kill.
So yeah, I do think this game is gonna be uh, Black Ops 2. Follow the same cycle as Black Ops 2 did. Really good for about nine months. Last three months got really boring. Everybody went to MW3 and MW2, Black Ops 1, until um, until that until um, the next Call of Duty came out, which is Call of Duty Ghost, and everybody went back to Black Ops 2. Then Advanced Warfare came out, that everybody went back to Black Ops 2. So I think what will happen is this will be out. This will be good for about nine months, nine ten months, and then for like the summer, will everybody will start playing Black Ops 2 again. That's what I think will happen. And this does, this game does focus a lot more on skill than any other Call of Duty. Um, especially in Ghosts. That one was terrible. That was all about your connection and who, who shot first. This one you actually have to be like skillful. Like you, you jump in a place, you're like, oh crap, I gotta go like this. Then. You gotta go like... And you gotta like you can slide backwards some sometimes. They let you do that. Not happening right now, but I know you can do it. Ah. Uh, all right. At least we got the sparrow. That's about the third time that's happened so far. Oh. Oh. At least we got an assist. Right. Right. Securing B. Right here, right here, right here, right here. Securing A. I was gonna get that knife nice kill. Target down. Losing Charlie. Got the long shot though. I knew I was gonna lose that gunfight. Just from the first shots, I knew. He knew how to get out of that. I can't get up to the freaking. Where is it? Oh, dude, that could suck. I suck. Oh, never mind, I didn't die. I thought I was, I thought I was gonna have to, like, delete the video after that, if he would've killed me. Grenade, move, move! Oh my gosh, grenades are powerful. Hope you guys all enjoyed this video. I I should have known that we were so close. I would have actually played objective. But yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you did, please rate down and subscribe. This has been Matt Gaming, 23 and 34. Not too bad for a beta in one of my first games. Hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Subscribe. See you next time. And.